So glad to be with you again tonight. Uh, this is Pastor Jamar Phil, y'all here at Flowing Rivers Ministries, and I'm so glad to be a part of your living room and your household again on another Tuesday night. <clears throat> this is the Hour of Power broadcast brought to you every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember, you can always catch our videos on YouTube, on our YouTube channel with Flowing Rivers Ministries. Just simply type that into the search engine. Or you can simply type in Pastor Jamar Phil, y'all. And there's tons of content there that you'll be able to view and catch up on our latest series and our latest uh, sermons and prayers. And I tell you, I do believe that it's going to bless you real good. We're coming tonight on our 21st week of our series, Enter the Faith Room. Yeah, more than half this year. We've been dealing with enter the faith room and we're in our last month of the year. Pretty much, you know, every year for the holidays, uh, we take a uh, we finish our sermon and get ready for the next year. You're ready for 2024 around about that second week in January. But we're coming to the end this month or the week right before Thanksgiving. And I tell you, it's just been a beauty and a blessing. And we're just looking forward to God doing so many wonderful things uh, for the remainder of the year and in 2024. So I hope that everybody's getting prepared uh, for God to do something great, for God to take us higher in the realm of the spirit, uh, in the realm of his word, in the realm of revelation and illumination. And I hope that everybody's excited about what God is going to do in your life. I know I'm excited. I believe that God is not through with me yet. Please, Lord, be patient with me. I know you're not through with me and he's not through with you either. So please continue to support the Flowing Rivers broadcast. Uh, we're certainly, certainly appreciative of all of you in the Flowing Rivers community, community that make this a wonderful, wonderful program. Thank you so much. Brother Tony Bullock, for what you do with our media ministry, I tell you, he does an awesome job. There's no one, I tell you, that can touch this man of God. This is his gift and his calling, and he's anointed to do it. And we're certainly thankful for Brother Bullock and how he blesses this Flowing Rivers broadcast to be broadcast out to the world. And this is going to be here long after me and him are gone, as long as the internet stands up. And I'm just so happy that we're able to make an impact uh, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mother Tate. She's out this week. She's at Holy Convocation. Please keep her in prayer, Mother Tate, but she brings a powerful impact of prayer each week. I always say, if you don't stay tuned to the whole broadcast, just fast forward to the end and let that prayer ring out in your home. I do believe in the power of prayer. The Bible says that we ought to always pray and not faint, for the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So please, please continue to support Flowing Rivers Ministries as much as you can. If you'd like to support us monetarily, we'd certainly be grateful. Uh, you can send it via Cash App at dollar sign Jamar Phil, y'all. Via Cash App, dollar sign J-A-M-A-R, F is in Frank, I-L-L-Y-A-W. We certainly thank you for all of your uh, uh, gifts that you send to us. We thank you for everything that you uh, do to support us. Please tell a friend, send, it, send the word out. Give them the information of how to log into this Zoom call. I tell you, I do believe it's a blessing and I do believe that it will bless them. Tons and tons of content that I believe that they can apply to their life. Well, tonight we're going to our 21st uh, installment of the Enter the Faith Room. I don't want to be before you too long. <clears throat> Just want to give you something that you can uh, uh, build faith on this week. And I'm simply talking on the topic tonight, uh, keep on walking. Keep on walking. Let's go to Genesis chapter five. Genesis chapter five. Uh, and I'm going to read verses 23 and 24 from the New King James Version. Genesis 5, verse 23 and 24. And I'm also going to read from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. So that's Genesis chapter 5, verse 23 and 24. And Hebrews 11, verse 5. And our topic tonight, subtopic is keep on walking. 
keep on walking. Genesis 5 verse 23 says, Enoch lived 365 years. 365 years. Verse 24 says, walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day he disappeared because God took him. One day Enoch disappeared as he was walking with God because God took him. Hebrews 11 and 5 says, by faith, by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. I love this story here dealing with this uh, man in the Bible who has somewhat of a, of a mystique. Um, we don't really hear much about him in the Bible. Uh, we read the, the two uh, verses of scripture that we read here, as well as in the book of Jude. We don't see much about him, but his impact is tremendous. His impact is so tremendous that his, his life, though it's very brief in content in the scripture, his life makes Hebrews chapter 11. Not by taking down many kingdoms, not by defeating animals with his bare hands, not by raising waters and big bodies of water uh, just by simply lifting up his staff. He doesn't do those things. He has the testimony of walking in close fellowship with God. And he walks so close with God that one day God is so pleased with his fellowship with him that he takes him out of the earth without dying. Enoch is a very interesting uh, person in the Bible. He is the great, 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 great grandson of Adam. He became uh, the father of the oldest man to ever live in the Bible by the name of Methuselah. Uh, Methuselah lived to be 369, well, actually 869 years old. Let me go up a number. It's 969 years old. And Enoch is his father. Enoch, for those years, uh, after he became the father of Methuselah, he walked very faithfully with God for 300 of those years. He did, he did not experience death because God took him. He walked so close that God took him. The Bible says by walking faithfully with God, uh, God took him away, put him in a safe place in eternity so that he would not experience death. Before he was taken, he was commended as one that pleased God, walking in close fellowship. Now, I want to talk tonight about walking in so close of a fellowship with God that you go from just merely the metaphor of walking to seeking God and knowing that a reward is on the way. Enoch was walking so close with God that his walk with God was a metaphor for seeking God. We see that in, in Hebrews 11, 11 and 5. His walking with God is a metaphor for seeking God. Y'all get that? His walking with God is a metaphor for seeking God. Now, I want to talk about that word seeking, and I know we may have talked about it before here online, but that word diligently seek is, is a Greek word, exiteo, exiteo, which means to seek out for oneself, to worship, 
to crave. That word crave in the English definition is to feel a powerful desire for something. Enoch is not just merely walking with God. He's a human being. He's, he's not just merely walking with uh, uh, God in a human sense. But, but this walk is a metaphor for diligently seeking the fellowship and the very presence of God to the place that he craves it. I can taste it. I love the way David puts that metaphor too. David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You have been so good that you can taste it. Now, prophetically, prophetically, I love, if you're prophetic out there, you're, you're going to understand what I'm saying when I say this. God can work with you so deep in the realms of the spirit that as you begin to get closer to God, watch this, y'all, your eyes begin to hear. Your ears begin to see. Your taste begins to smell or to see. God, they're all senses. I can look at something and begin to hear God. This is how deep you can go in the spirit. I can look at something and begin to hear God. I can look at something and begin to hear God. I can hear something and begin to see something in the spirit. I can smell something and begin to sense something. I can begin to see something. Uh, in the spirit realm by what I smell, uh, especially when I go into an environment where I have a strong sense of discernment. Well, this is, oh, taste and see. I can taste and see that God is good. Even though I'm not tasting God literally, I can taste in the spirit realm that God is good. There's a craving here, a hunger that is created in Enoch to chase after God to worship him, to desire God, to be hungry for him. You can't eat him. Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. Unless you, unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no life in you. You're not going to take and cut pieces of Jesus and eat him. This is talking in the spirit realm. You've got to crave him. They that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Enoch is craving God. That's what his walking God, his diligently seeking him is. So before you can diligently seek, you got to believe that God is. You got to believe that God exists. You got to believe that he's a rewarder to them that crave, that, that, that desire, that, that hunger, that thirst, that, that, that strongly wants him. This is where Enoch is. Every day he's hungry for God. He's thirsty. He's looking for God. He's spending time in fellowship with God. And his hunger reaches a place so enormous that God just takes him. See, God is looking for people who are hungry for him. It's too many fly-by-night people who can take God or leave him. Your day only consists of a, of a few minutes with God. And you wonder why you're not receiving. You wondered why you're not receiving the reward that you desire. But Enoch had the, the formula. I've got to fall in love with God. I've got to crave him. I've got to, I've got to be hungry for him. I've got to, I've got to find time to lay before him and worship. To recognize my place in the, in the universe as a human being, and to recognize God's place in the universe as the one and only sovereign God, creator of all things, the, the ruler of all things, sovereign, powerful, El Shaddai, almighty, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, God who sent his only begotten son, Jesus, into the world to die for us simply because he loved us and set up a plan long ago to deliver us from sin. I'm talking about God who can step inside of a virgin and be born as a human and be 100% God and be 100% human and have a plan and down a cross and be raised again from the dead in three days and to come back and to live amongst those people for 40 days and then ascend to heaven 
uh, and glory to God and getting ready to come back again. I'm talking about that type of God. The one and only God. You've got to be hungry. You've got to crave. You've got to crave him. You've got to be uh, uh, like Enoch here. The Bible said Enoch walk with God. When I'm telling you to keep on walking, I'm telling you to keep on craving. To keep on being hungry for God. To keep on desiring God. More of his presence. More of him and less of me. Be willing for your will to die so that God's will can be established in your life. Be willing to put your purpose, what you think that your life is all about. Be, be willing to put that away so that I can fulfill the purpose of God that he planned for me long ago. This is what hungering for God. I'm hungering for his way. I'm hungering for his leadership. I'm hungering for, for his, 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 his ways of doing things, getting rid of sin out of my life, getting rid of my desires, getting rid of weight. The Bible says to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets you. Why? Because this is the will of God. This is the desire of God. And my desire has become his desire. Look at how Enoch is walking with him. My des his desires have become God's desire. If God says, I don't want you to do that, Enoch is willing to put it down forever. I love what the Apostle Paul says uh, when he's dealing with eating meat around vegetarians. He says, if, if me eating meat will cause a vegetarian to stumble and walk away from God, he said that I'll never eat meat again for the rest of my life. Because he understands the will and desire of God is to win souls. To the kingdom. That's the that's the that's the purpose of apostles and bishops and pastors and teachers and evangelists and prophets is to win souls and to edify the body of Christ, to exhort, to reprove, to rebuke, to, to encourage, to comfort, and sometimes to expose. This is the will of God. This is the desire of God. My desire is spiritual. Glory to God. If God says, I desire for you to only have one husband, be the husband of one wife and the wife of one husband, then I desire what God desires. If God said, don't tell lies, if God says, don't cheat, if God and, and the plethora of other sins that fall under not loving your neighbor as yourself, if God says, don't do those things, those works of the flesh, then I desire what God desires. This is where Enoch is. He's craving. I can taste it. I want God so bad. I want God so bad that I'll put my will down and I'll, and I'll, and I'll seek his will. I'll seek his way. And Enoch is so hungry for God that God just takes him. He takes him. Now, the Bible says that when you diligently seek him, God rewards. He rewards. The Greek definition for rewarder is one who pays wages. One who pays wages, meaning that God is seeing you're, you're diligently seeking him. He's seeing that you believe in his son, Jesus Christ, for your Lord and Savior. He sees how much you crave him, that you're hungry for him, that you're thirsty for him. And I'm telling you that when you're in this posture, God is not going to withhold any good thing from them that love him. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me up in here. Glory to God. God is not going to withhold any good thing from them that love him. He's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. He's going to pay you a wage. Lord have mercy. He's going to pay you a miracle. He's going to pay you a blessing when you begin to crave his righteousness. Seek ye first. There they go. Seeking again. Seeking. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Crave first. Hunger first. Worship God first. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all of the blessings are going to flow. The rewarder is going to pay you. I feel the Holy Ghost here. I tell you, I wasn't feeling that good, but I feel the anointing flowing. That is the formula. Enoch is giving us the formula. He walked with God. That means he seek God. He desired God. He craved God. And he craved his ways, God's life, God's body, God's blood. Jesus shed his blood. I crave the blood. I don't have faith in any other thing. I stand on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is God's way of saving humanity. This is God's way of healing the sick and raising the dead. This is God's way of casting out demons in people's lives who are tormented with devils. This is God's way of, of bringing uh, eyesight to the blind, of bringing uh, 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 the ability to walk back to those who are lame. It's through the blood. It's through his son. It's through the name of Jesus Christ. And I crave that. I desire that. I want more of Jesus. I want more of his name. I want more of his blood. I want more of his ways. God, I got some ways that I want to get rid of. Hallelujah. Touch my mind. Touch my heart. Touch my spirit. Touch my soul. Give me a do right mind to live right for you. Give me a do right spirit to do the right thing. Take hate out of me. Take animosity out of me. Take jealousy out of me. Take envy out of me. Take it out because I don't want my way anymore. I crave your way. I'm hungry for your way, Jesus. I want the way of Jesus Christ. For he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And I crave that. The Bible says this type of walk, this type of craving, you're going to need some faith. The Bible says you got to believe that he's a rewarder. You got to believe he's God. You got to believe he's a rewarder. That word believe is pistis. Faith. I got to believe it. Nothing. No, no. It's not rocket science. It's choosing to believe. I'm convicted by the word of God. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 5. We're almost done. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 5 through 8. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 5 through 8. The Bible says uh, in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 5 through 8, says, now he has he who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who also has given us the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, as a guarantee. I talked about that on Sunday. The guarantee, one who is able to guarantee something, to solidify it to assure you, to make sure uh, that there's no debt that's owed, to make sure that they're going to take the weight of the loan when you can't pay it. The Holy Spirit guarantees that I'm paid up when I believe God and I receive Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit comes in my life and into my spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues and prophesying. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is the guarantee from God that I'm going to be saved. Verse 6 in 2 Corinthians 5 says, so we are always confident. When I'm guaranteed, I'm confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Oh, I love verse 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, yes, well pleased, well pleased rather to be absent from the body, to be present for the Lord. If I'm going to walk with God, if I'm going to crave God, if I'm going to seek him, it's not going to be by the things that I see. It's going to be by the things that I believe. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. See how the spirit realm works? I'm not using my eyes to walk. I'm using my faith to walk. I'm using my faith to move closer to God. Glory to God. I'm using my faith to hear the things in the spirit. 
I'm using my faith to sense the spirit environment. I'm using my faith to heal the sick. I'm using my faith to work miracles. I'm using my faith to prophesy. I'm prophesying by my measure of faith. I'm using my faith to speak into. I'm using my faith, oh God, hallelujah, to interpret tongues. By faith, I'm walking by faith. I'm walking in the spirit. I'm moving closer to God. I'm leaving my will behind. I'm seeking and tasting and craving to go higher in the realms of the spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Till I don't even recognize myself. I don't even recognize my former life. For the old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. I'm seeking to go higher in the realms of the spirit by faith in God. And this is Enoch's way. Enoch said, I'm going to walk so close with God. I don't know if he was even expecting to, for God to just take him. But he was so in love with the God that he knew to be true. The God that he knew, he had firsthand experience that this God is real. This God is real. Before Abraham even got here, before Jacob even got here, before Isaac even got here, Enoch was assured God is real and I crave him. I seek him. I desire him. I follow him. I sense him in the spirit. I see him in the spirit realm. I can look beyond the constellations of the universe into the very corridors of heaven and I'm able to see in the spirit and Jesus, he loved it so much. Woo, glory to God. He had such fellowship with Enoch so strong that he wanted him at home with him. With him. God wants to bless you tonight. I want to encourage someone on this line tonight that the enemy has tried to wear you out. He tried to make you feel like that there was no need to follow God, that you might as well quit walking, that God has forgot about you. The enemy has told you lies to make you feel like that God doesn't care. I come to tell you tonight that God truly cares, that nobody cares like God. He made you. He formed you in your mother's womb. God formed you. And he knew you before you even entered into the mind of your father, before you even entered into the mind of your mother, before your grandmother met your grandfather, God knew you and he had you in mind. You are important to God. You are so important to God that one scripture says you are the apple of his eye. He hides you in the secret place of his pavilion. He hides you under his wings. Oh, yes, he does. He loves you. He cares about you. There's nothing, there's no nothing that God is going to withhold. He sent his only begotten son. What else can he do to show you that he loves you and he cares about you and he's going to see about you and he's going to make sure that all things are going to work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. God loves you, but he wants it reciprocated. He wants that love reciprocated. He wants you to love him just like he loves you. The Bible says that he only leaves you two commandments, to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, all your strength, all your understanding, to love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. So God wants you to love him. He wants you to love yourself. He wants you to love your neighbor as you love yourself. He wants that love reciprocated. Enoch was a perfect example of one that could reciprocate the love of God, that can reciprocate the love of God. He walked in close fellowship 
Glory to God. He craved God. Oh, he wanted God so bad. When will my people, I hear the Lord tonight, when will my people begin to crave their creator? Hallelujah. When will my people begin to crave the one that causes them to breathe, causes them to see, provides for them, shepherds them, keeps them in the midnight hour. He keeps the thief and the robber away. He keeps the murderer away. He keeps you safe and in peace. God watches over you. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He never takes a day off. He's up 365 days a year, every minute, every hour, every second. God is watching you. He has assigned angels to assist you. Oh, when you recognize who you are to God. Hallelujah. Are we walking with him like Enoch? Are we walking with God? Are we craving God? like Enoch. We need to be like Enoch where we're ready for Jesus to come back any day so that we can be caught up as well to meet him in the air. Glory to God. I want to be caught up in the air to meet Jesus one day. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be left here and I want to be caught up with my God. What is life without God? It's called hell. Life without God is fire, brimstone. Life without God is eternal damnation. And I come to tell somebody tonight that you don't have to live that way. I come to tell the Christians tonight that you can live a great life in God. I come to tell you tonight that you don't have to live a defeated life, but you can live a life of joy and triumph in expectation that God is soon to come. And he's not going to come back to this earth without getting who he loves. Hallelujah. He's not going to come back to this earth and not get the one who loves him. Let us pray tonight. Father, I thank you tonight for meeting us on this line. But we're going to keep on walking. We're going to keep on walking by faith and not by sight. God, I thank you tonight because I'm not here alone. But Lord, you have sent me your Holy Spirit as a guarantee. Hallelujah. That I'll be saved when you come back. Lord, help us on this line. Hallelujah. To crave you. To hunger for you to thirst for you. Those on this line who have lost their hunger, God, I pray that you'll give them their hunger back, that you'll have mercy. That you'll have mercy on every individual on this line to hunger and thirst for you, to crave you like never before, to seek you with all of their might. Oh God, for we see the evil day is approaching. We see that the end is soon to come. Hallelujah. It won't be long. That we'll be standing before you on judgment day. Hallelujah. At the Bema seat judgment for those who are saved. To answer for the life that we have lived. Oh God, how did we live our life for you? You gave us a one life. You gave us some years to live it. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. How did we live? How did we, how did we treat each other? How did we love each other? Oh, God. How did we give to the poor? Oh, God. How did we have fellowship with the Holy Spirit? How were we led, oh God, into the realms of the spirit? Oh God, how much did we read and seek information through the word of God of how to live a better sanctified life for you? God, were we craving you? Were we hungry for you? Did we walk 
with you like Enoch did, oh God. Oh God. We have one life to live. Oh God, tonight, I pray for each and every individual on the line. Hallelujah. That they will begin to seek you like never before. As we're coming to the end of 2023, this is the time to make a turnaround. This is the time, oh God, to begin, oh God, to seek you like never before so that we can be a better us, a better Christian, a better believer, a better fisher of men in 2024. Oh God, let me seek you the more. Oh God, don't let it just be a new year's resolution, but God, let me be a new me for you. Let me be a better me for you, oh God. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Let me be led by the spirit. Anything that is filthy, help me to put the filth down. Anything that is trying to keep me from getting into your presence, let me put it down. Any distraction, any stronghold, any religious spirit, let me put it down in the name of Jesus. Yeah, my God. And let me chase after you. Oh God, the song says I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do. Oh God. Hallelujah. I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do. I'm craving you tonight, God. We're craving you as the body of believers. Hey, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, if you don't do another thing, don't let me lose my hunger for you. God, if you don't do another thing, don't let me lose my love for you. Don't let me lose my faith in you. Oh, God, knowing that you are a rewarder to them that diligently seek you. Oh, God, I know it. I got faith in it. You're going to bless me. Hallelujah. You're going to bless me indeed. You're going to bless my family. You're going to bless my soul. You're going to bless my body. Oh, God, the answer is in seeking you. Oh, my shando. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're taking us back to a place where we got to seek you. You're taking us back to a place where we need to be hungry for you. Hallelujah. This kind. Hallelujah. I love the way you said it, Jesus. There's some things going to come through fasting and praying. Fasting and prayer is an indication I'm craving for your need. I'm craving for your work. I'm craving for the work of your hand. I'm craving, oh God, for you to meet my needs in the name of Jesus. I'm hungry for you, oh God. We're hungry tonight. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, God, your mercy endureth forever. Your truth endureth to all generations. God, we receive your mercy. We receive your grace. We trust in your word. We're holding on to your unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And for everybody on this line, Oh, God, my prayer tonight, oh, God, is they'll reach out by faith and they'll get hungry for you again. Oh, God, they'll get thirsty for you again. They'll begin to seek you like never before again in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, I thank you for what you're going to do on the rest of this week. I ask that you protect us, that you cover us in your blood. I ask, oh God, that you begin to give us new insight and direction for where you want us to go. Oh God, don't let us fall by the wayside. Oh, but God, let us build up in our most holy faith and begin to walk forward in the ways and the things of you, oh God. Oh God, let me look like you. Let me walk so close to you that I even look like you, Jesus, that I talk like you. Oh God, that I dress like you. Oh God, that I eat like you. Oh God, Jesus, let me walk so close. Oh God, that I'll be like Peter, where the people were able to tell you're one of them, because we can tell because you look like them, you act like them, you talk like them. Hallelujah. I want to look like the follower of Jesus Christ. I want to be the follower of Jesus Christ in my heart on the inside, as well as on the outside. Cover us in your blood. Cover all the bishops that are connected to our line. Cover all the preachers, all of the members, the church members, the body of Christ. Oh God, cover them that are connected to this line, all their children, 
all their grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring in the unbelievers, those that are in the street, oh God, that seem like they're never going to get saved. Bring them in in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, I thank you. Oh God, save them before 2023 is out. Save them, oh God. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. It's time for revival. It's time for a new group of saved folk. It's time for a new group to come in and be baptized with the Holy Ghost power. God, I thank you. Oh God, send in the harvest. Yeah. Glory to God. Send in the ones who are stuck in sin. Send in the ones, oh God, who stuck in generational curses, who are stuck in bloodline curses. Oh God, we cast the devil out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, and we believe you, hallelujah, that you're going to save the unsaved. Oh God, and you're going to strengthen and edify the ones who have already given their life to you. Father, we thank you tonight. We praise your name in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you the glory. Thank you. Lord, we give you the honor. Lord, we give you the praise. We magnify your Lord, name. There's no like you. Lord, You're God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Oh God, we give you the glory Lord, and we give you the honor and we give you the praise Lord, and we Lord, magnify Lord, you Lord. and we glorify Lord, you. Lord, hey, my Lord, God, my God. Keep on walking, saints of God. Keep on seeking Lord. him for he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. I've got good news for you tonight, Christian woman. I've got new, good news for you tonight, Christian man. It won't be long. Oh, God. Hallelujah. If you keep on walking with God, you're going to be caught up in the clouds to meet him one day. And this old world will all be over. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. This old world will all be over. The troubles of this life will be no more. Ha, yeah, 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 Lord. Yeah, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. The troubles of this old life, this old body, it an unso, oh God, it'll soon be taken down. Hallelujah. And God said, I'm going to give you a new body. Hallelujah. Not made by man's hand. Oh God, but this body will be threaded by the hands of God. Hallelujah. He's given us a new body. Glory to God. A new tent. Hallelujah. When this earthly tabernacle be dissolved. Hey, I wish I had somebody on the line. Hallelujah. That's looking to live again. Hallelujah. This is not the last place that we're going to live. Hallelujah. But those that have put their confident hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. One day he's coming back for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's coming back. Hallelujah. And he's going to take me back home. I can see it because he did it for Enoch. Hallelujah. He picked Enoch up while he was following him and he took him on back to live with him in glory. Oh, well, my God is not a respecter person. The same way he came and got Enoch is the same way he's coming to get us. I wish I had somebody on the line. Hallelujah. That know I'm going to keep on walking with God. Hallelujah. I might not have everything I want to have. Hallelujah. But give me Jesus. I might not have all the money I want to have, but I got Jesus down on the inside. Hallelujah. I might not have all of the prestige and all of the honor that everybody may think that I should have or that I might think that I should have, but give me Jesus over the name. Hallelujah. I don't want to make my name great, but I'm like what Jesus said. I came here to glorify my father. Glory to God. I came here to glorify the name of the Lord. I feel good right here, saints of God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Be encouraged tonight. Hey, my God, my God, my God, my God. Thank Be encouraged tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Keep on walking. Hallelujah. Whoever stops walking. Hallelujah. Let them stop if they want to stop. Hallelujah, but I made up my mind. Hallelujah. I got a made up mind. Anybody got a made up mind? Hallelujah. I got a made up mind. I'm going to follow Jesus all the way. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep on walking with Jesus. I'm going to keep on chasing after him. 
Hallelujah. One day, oh God, hallelujah. One day it's going to all be over. And oh, trouble, okay. going, hallelujah, all this trouble you're going through. It's going to be no more. I tell you, serving the Lord is going to pay off after a while. Hallelujah, serving yes. the Lord is going to pay off after a while. How do I know? Because the Bible said he's a rewarder. Hallelujah, he's going to pay you. He's going to pay you for the life you live. Hallelujah, he's going to pay you for all the suffering you had to go through. Hallelujah, he's going to pay you for everybody who walked out on you. He's going to pay you for every tear you had to cry. He's going to yes, pay you yes. for every time you thought you were going to lose your mind. God going to pay you, hallelujah, because he's a rewarder to them that diligently crave him. Hallelujah to them that stay in faith in Jesus. For we, well, I got to go tonight. I got to go. I got to go. Hallelujah. I got to go. Hallelujah. But stay in the race, saints of God. Run this race with patience. Hallelujah. Run this race with endurance. Hallelujah. Lay aside every weight. Lay aside the sin. Seek God. Seek him first. Give him yes. everything you got. Hallelujah. And when this is all over, Hallelujah, you'll be able to hear well done. You'll be able to hear well done. You made it. Enter in to the glory of the Lord. You made it in. Anybody want to make it in? If you want to make it in, say hallelujah. I'm going to make it in. I'm going to make it in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This whole world. Hey, glory to God. This whole world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It can't do nothing for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This whole world can't do nothing for you. Hallelujah. Put your hope in Jesus Christ and everything will be all right. If you have not given your life to Jesus tonight and you want to give your life to the Lord, I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you in prayer, asking for forgiveness of my sin. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you, Jesus, you are the son of the living God. You died on the cross of Calvary that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And I ask you right now to come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sin. I turn away from them. And I want to walk with you now, Jesus. I will I worship you all the days of my life. Your word is truth. And I believe and I confess with my mouth that I am born again and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. A yes, Lord Jesus. Amen. amen. If you believe that, amen. you said that, and you believe that God has saved you, let him finish his work in you. The Bible says that he that begins a work, he that has begun a work in you, he shall perform it. And he shall finish yes, it. Lord. He's going to work it out for you. If he started it, he's going to finish it. Let him fill you yes, up with the Holy Lord. Ghost. Let him baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, and I believe you are well on your way to an eternal life of victory with the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, saints of God, we've come to the end. Remember to keep Flowing Rivers Ministries in your prayer. Keep me and my family in your prayer. Keep Sister Tate, who is, uh, who is away tonight. Keep her in your prayer, her and her family. Keep Brother Tony Bullock and his family in your prayer. We're striving to, to do the right thing and to send the gospel out to as many people as we can. Remember, Jesus is the way. He is the truth and the life. And if you believe on Jesus Christ, as the scriptures have said, then out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of blessing. Out of your belly shall flow.